WrestleMania is the most grandest stage of them all and you know what, there are some WrestleMania matches which WWE fans wanted to see again. And in this video, we're gonna take a look to those WWE matches which took place at WrestleMania more than once. For this list, rematch is counted as any match where all the participants are exactly the same as in a previous encounter. For example, John Cena and The Miz facing off in a mixed tag team match at WrestleMania 33 doesn't count as a rematch from their Mania 27 main event. So let's start with Hulk Hogan and Under the Giant and they both faced each other at WrestleMania 3 and at WrestleMania 4 where at WrestleMania 3 Hulk Hogan defeated Under the Giant and at WrestleMania 4 it ended in a double disqualifications. Next up on the list is Brett the Hitman Hurt and Yokozuna where Brett the Hitman Hurt faced Yokozuna at WrestleMania 9 and at WrestleMania 10 where at WrestleMania 9 it was Yokozuna and at WrestleMania 10 it was Brett the Hitman Hurt who won the match. Then we get Undertaker vs Kane at WrestleMania 14 and at WrestleMania 20, where at WrestleMania 14 it was The Undertaker who defeated the Big Red Machine and it was WrestleMania 20 where The Undertaker again defeated his little brother. At number 4 we get Stone Cold Steve Austin vs The Rock where this superstar faced each other in 3 WrestleMania so Stone Cold on the first one, Stone Cold on the second one at WrestleMania 17, but when it comes to the final time, it was the final boss who conquered the war. At number 5, we get Edge and Christian vs the Hardys vs the Dudleys facing off each others at WrestleMania 16 and at WrestleMania 17, where on both occasions Edge and Christian defeated the Hardys and the Dudleys. Then we get The Undertaker vs The Game Triple H where they faced each other in three occasions where at WrestleMania 17, at WrestleMania 27 and at WrestleMania 28 where on three occasions The Undertaker defeated The Game Triple H. Then we get Brock Lesnar vs Goldberg facing off each other at WrestleMania 20 and at WrestleMania 33 where at WrestleMania 20 it was Goldberg who defeated Brock Lesnar and at WrestleMania 33 it was The Beast who conquered. After that we get Triple H vs Bordista at WrestleMania 21 and at WrestleMania 35 where at WrestleMania 21 it was The Animal who defeated The Game and at WrestleMania 35 it was The Game who defeated The Animal. Next up is the biggest WrestleMania rematch which took place in front of my eyes. It was Shawn Michaels vs The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25 and at WrestleMania 26 where on both occasions The Dead Man defeated Shawn Michaels. Then we get The Rock vs The C Nation leader John Cena where they both faced each other at WrestleMania 28 and at WrestleMania 29, where first time it was The Rock and second time it was the C Nation leader John Cena. After that, we get Bray Wyatt vs John Cena, where at WrestleMania 30, John Cena defeated Bray Wyatt, and at WrestleMania 36, it was The Fiend who defeated John Cena in a Firefly Funhouse match. Next up on the list is The Beast, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns where they faced each other on three occasions where at WrestleMania 31 it was none, Brock Lesnar or Roman Reigns was the winner but at WrestleMania 34 it was The Beast who defeated The Big Dog and at WrestleMania 38 it was a champion vs champion match which Roman Reigns defeated Brock Lesnar. Then we get Randy Orton vs Bray Wyatt facing off each other at WrestleMania 33 and at WrestleMania 37, where at WrestleMania 33 it was Randy Orton who defeated Bray Wyatt and at WrestleMania 37 it was again the Viper who conquered.
At number 14, we get Rhea Ripley vs Charlotte Flair facing off each other at WrestleMania 36 and at WrestleMania 39 where first time it was Charlotte Flair who won the match but when it comes for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania 39, it was Rhea Ripley. At number 15, we get Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes facing off each other at WrestleMania 39 and at WrestleMania 40 for the first time it was the Travel Chief who defeated the American Nightmare but at WrestleMania 40 it was the American Nightmare who became a Nightmare for the Travel Chief.